Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm hopping on this Baja right now, this 1998 Baja. I know it's uh, not the greatest lighting conditions, but you can see this vinyl is pretty bad. So I've got the uh, vinyl mold and mildew remover uh, from my Marine Series in that spray bottle. I've got Universal Clean and Prep. Uh, we got the vacuum, so we got to get this vinyl straight. This whole interior is just generally dirty. Um, the boat's in great shape, but again, generally dirty, and the vinyl's yucky, really dirty. And then we've got this cabin up front that definitely needs some love. I'm gonna vacuum everything out and then get this carpet all cleaned up so that's the interior and then I got this top area I'm gonna have to polish try to remove that rust and stuff from underneath that bar but that's where we're at with the inside so now hop out So here's the transom area. Not horrible, but definitely oxidized. The boat is in generally decent shape. The top deck needs some love, but the hull looks okay. This is generally dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do a one-step polish on this thing with Universal All-in-One. I'm gonna remove this yellowing with my hull brightener from my Marine Series. But that's where we're at. About to get started. And uh, got all my gear here. All right, so everything's ready. We're gonna get rolling. So we'll see you in uh, just a bit when we've got more progress done. All right, so I have the hull brightener in here. You see that yellow stain? Literally just gonna hit it. There we go. Get all that on the uh, yellow stain there. All right, let it do its thing. And uh, while that's happening, I'm gonna go up and try to nail that uh, rust spot. I just wanna show you guys where we're working today. Port 32 Marina. We're working on that uh, Baja over here, this 23-foot Baja. Well, we got Tony over here shooting videos, taking selfies and whatnot. That's what she does. Look at that. Look. <laughs> yes, I detail boats, people. Yes, I do. My husband gives me the best jobs on the planet. All this interior work. She's the best at it. Just saying. She did learn from the best. So I just want to give you guys a glimpse of what is happening today. So we're at this beautiful high rock. Well, it's a uh, high and dry Port 32 Marina. It's a uh, Gandy and West Shore area. Beautiful out here. Got our boys over here at Towboat US just chilling, waiting for somebody to call and need their services. I love the water. All right, America. Time to get back to work, but I just wanted to show you guys where we're at today, what's going on. I'm about to start polishing. I just got this thing cleaned up, or as far as I washed it. So it's all washed, and I'm about to uh, whip out my DeWalt cordless. Uh, I'm gonna use this clean, aggressive pad. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I may end up just using the orange pad on the so this is the uh, This is the uh, DCM 849. This is the uh, dual action and then this right here is the rotary This is the DCM 849 I'm sorry, this is the DCM 848 dual action. This is the DCM 849 uh, and I have been using the 
849 electric rotary for years and it's amazing uh, this cordless one is even better so I'm gonna go ahead and probably pop a battery in that and do some polishing and see where we end up I will most likely just use universal all-in-one because it doesn't need to be cut a lot we're just trying to cut the little bit oxidation off the top notice the top deck the gel coats a little thicker on the top deck generally it's a little different than the hull um, the top deck always gets more oxidation than the hull because the Sun beats on it more uh, and in general it looks okay it looks pretty glossy but it's really not as glossy as it might look it's patchy and uh, definitely needs to be polished so. all right I know it's loud There's a lot of crap going on around here loud noises so polish this section I'm having to use the rotary up top because it's pretty bad and I really want uh, this boat to look fantastic for the customer so I went ahead and stepped it up beyond what the package includes you can see all the nasty dirt in the gel coat well I can see it but I have polished just to about right there just this section it's a huge difference also have done that side it's all glossy so I'm using the uh, DeWalt rotary cordless job the DCM 849 it's pretty awesome uh, it's not the same kind of power as you'd expect from a rotary uh, the dial only does uh, 2200 but I found that if you run it at 1800 you still get great power good battery life and uh, it still has you know enough juice in there to get some work done pretty good so all right I'm using uh, smart cut up here and uh, original infinite use detail juice uh, to wipe down because it being what the polish is being water based they dry out in the sun a little bit but if you give them a quick spritz with either just straight up water or uh, some diluted uh, lube infinite use detail juice uh, it comes right off no problems all right so now we've got more Sun on this side I did the same exact thing basically well I haven't I've only polished about here I did not do that much but uh, so I polished all the way out to here from the tape line that you see right there so it looks a lot better again there's a tape line here and you remember all that yellowing it's gone you can see all the gloss versus the chalkiness on this side and that's what we do peeps all right I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm just gonna start cranking it out all right I have done the nose and a little bit of the top deck um, the tape line was right there and you can see the dramatic difference between the gloss here with the universal all-in-one and the lack of gloss on the other side of the tape line same thing here see the tape line was there you can see kind of hard to see just because it wasn't that bad but it's definitely an improvement without a doubt so I've got a I've got tape set up on the other side I'm using my universal all-in-one it works awesome on boats and cars um, wow yeah you can see there's a ton more gloss in this front area than there is behind that Baja and then up at the top you can really see I just did this little section of this front here all the way down here so lots of gloss and that's what we want we want it to look awesome so that the potential buyers that this broker shows these um, boats to uh, can help out a lot uh, it can help out a lot just showing them uh, what the boat has gone through to be sold and uh, I'm always told that my details sell the boat so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll with that whether they do or not it makes me feel good 
and I like it. So I'm gonna get back to work polishing and I'll bring you back. I'll do another 50-50 on the other side that's uh, getting hit with direct sunlight right now. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'll go do that now and I'll bring you right back. All right guys, so I got the outside all polished uh, with Universal All-in-One. So now I'm inside helping Tony out with the interior and she's using some diluted tiger's blood. This is diluted four ounces, so one to three. So four ounces in that bottle right there. And then I filled it with water. So Tiger's Blood is a heavy, heavy, heavy duty butyl based cleaner. Um, it does a great job as you can see. Nothing else was picking that up, not even Universal Clean and Prep or Infinite Purpose Cleaner. And then I grabbed some Tiger's Blood and look at that floor. And you can see. Dirty, not dirty. Sorry about the uh, the sun, the shadows. Hopefully, you can see how dirty it is where she's working. This is what we do, guys, on our hands and knees scrubbing boats because that's what it takes to get it done right. I'm not above it. All right, boys and girls, we are all done with this 1998 Baja 232. So I'm gonna show you what we've done. So I'm in the interior right now. From here, you can see all the gloss that is present now on the bow area of this boat. This is the uh, outside the Cuddy cabin here. I scrubbed all the non-skid uh, and then I used uh, my cordless rotary as you saw, to polish the top because it was really oxidized. Everything else was pretty good. I used the cordless uh, dual action. So that worked out really well. Uh, the shine came back pretty good. On the interior here, um, there were lots of stains on the carpet. As you can see, we scrubbed all the vinyl all the way around, scrubbed this uh, cushion. There's another cushion, a seat cushion that goes there. Um, Tony's actually finishing that up now, then we'll throw it back in here. Um, I don't clean porta potties. I literally just wiped down the top of that so it looked okay. Um, and this is all we're going to be able to do to uh, this area, unfortunately. So that's that. Um, is it wet? That's. Yeah, it's gross. I don't know what it is. Uh, Tony said she's tried scrubbing it, but it didn't come out. Ow, shit, that's the second damn time I've hit my head on that. Um, the vinyl was an exceptional challenge, but it looks a lot better than it did for sure. Um, the only problem is this bench seat. Um, I kept scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. It's a little bit worse than the rest of it, but uh, I was getting dye coming up, so I'm gonna quit there. Plus, it's already got some deterioration on the threading, so the more I mess with this, the worse it's gonna look and potentially fall apart, literally. Uh, this was really bad, but between the mold and mildew remover from my Marine Series, uh, which really knocked out all the mold, and then we used some Universal Clean and Prep, some Tiger's Blood, uh, different just different things that remove different kinds of materials. So the mold mildew remover is awesome for, well, mold and mildew, uh, but the uh, universal cleaner prep is a very universal cleaner. Tiger's blood is a heavy duty degreasing cleaner uh, that we had to use on this vinyl to make it look like you see it. And it's still definitely not perfect, but it looks to be original to the boat. All this stuff does, uh, which is 23 years old. So it looks amazing to me for that kind of age. Um, we cleaned all the cubbies, all that kind of stuff. Um, we also lifted this. This is the engine cover. Let me see if I can get it. No, that's a huge pain. We wiped down everything in there. I'm not going to bother opening this thing. It's huge pain and the, um, the prop for it 
is brand new but it's sitting in there it's not fastened in so it's just difficult all right i went back again i just had to get more out i just just had to that's about all we can do really but that corner is all good now it wasn't before and the big stain is pretty much gone so pretty happy with that all right we're going to throw everything back in here and i'll show you the outside all right, this uh, 1998 Baja 232 is complete. This got our prep for sale detail, which is package three at detailjuice.com. It's a thorough clean in and out and uh, a one-step polish everywhere uh, with an all-in-one. Uh, today, I normally, if the boat was more uh, oxidized, I would have definitely used Solitaire from my Marine series. But since it wasn't, I went, good lord, look at that, the reflections of Tony's shirt in the boat. Universal All-in-One did an amazing job. It does not cut as much as Solitaire but it leaves it's subjective but it's really better protection behind because it have, has the ceramic acrylics blend in it uh the universal all-in-one does so, but this one got universal all-in-one all over everything i use smart cut on the top area and then i finished it with universal all-in-one to add that reflection um and some protection so this thing is looking awesome very glossy as you can see, uh, there's no more yellowing there. Remember that big yellow spot? That's all gone. Also, she took my ladder. Let me see if I can see it. So right up there on this end, actually on both ends, there was rust stains on that bar, but you can see that there's not. It's all gone. So no more rust stains. Got that nasty spot out of the carpet on the interior pretty well. Um, I did polish this whole transom area, which looks very good. Um, I just cleaned and wiped down the out, um, inboard outboard with uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with Triple Tech. Just gave it a wipe down, nothing fancy. And then, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Looks great. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Interior looks good. Exterior looks good. Got some streaks right here. You see those? Look at that. All gone. Get it wiped a little bit. Yeah. Glossy, glossy. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me babble while I tell you guys what I go through on these details. Check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. If you got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. I'd be more than happy to help you in your detailing endeavors. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So if you want to get in there and be a part of something bigger than detailing, uh, send us requests we'll get you in there um, especially if you want to learn about the products that's a, the best place to do that but also it is the best place to get all the promos and special deals that I do on the products um, without having to search the internet or know somebody who knows me or of the products or is in the group so just get yourself in there and let's get you learning about my products and uh, get it rolling so thank you guys for watching have a great day